Well, the new needle-free alternative to the EpiPen will soon be available. A huge advance for those suffering from severe allergies who just can't stand needles. It's expected to be just as effective and on the market in about two months. Joining me now to discuss more is Dr. Purby Parikh, the allergist with the Allergy and Asthma ne Network. Doc, thank you so much. So how exactly does this treatment work? Right, so you know, compared to the typical um, epinephrine pens or auto injectors, which is the needle, this is the nasal spray. So basically, um, it's one spray into one nostril, and if that does not work or if that's not enough, you can actually use a second spray. But usually, it's it's one spray into the nostril to deliver that same epinephrine medication in an emergency situation. Dr. Brink, let me ask you. I mean, just how great a breakthrough is this for people that have just never really been 100% comfortable with a Yepi pen? It's actually an amazing breakthrough, uh, long overdue. Um, our The allergy community has been waiting for this because we see this all the time. Uh, you know, people are afraid of needles. Um, epinephrine is actually underutilized, especially when it's appropriate, not only by patients, but also by their caregivers, even by other clinicians. People, for some reason, just have this hesitancy using something like a needle. But I think with a nasal spray, it'll be a lot more accessible, a lot more easy to use, especially in those life or death situations where seconds count. Let's Let's talk about side effects because with um, every medication that's out there, there's a, a list of side effects <laughs> a mile right. long. What about the, anyone, any significant ones with this? All right, so what they most commonly saw in the studies, because it's a nasal spray, uh, throat irritation was the most common, um, headache also uh, was there, or, or other nasal irritation. Normally with the injection epinephrine, sometimes people can feel a little uh, jittery or feel like their heart is racing. That's normal, you know, that's the epinephrine working. So that could be a possible side effect even with this nasal spray, but it seemed to be less common. It seemed to be more of the throat irritation and headache and, and nasal irritation because it goes through your nose. All right, so just some minor stuff uh, from the uh, mm -hmm. the early the early allocure. So should parents right, still right. should parents still go to the hospital though after administering this treatment if they have a severe allergic reaction to something or does this basically just say hey if you feel better and you look better then you're you're okay. That's a great question. So yes, absolutely. Now, whether or not you're using epinephrine, you should be going to the hospital, uh, no matter what form it's in, whether it be injection or nasal spray. All this medication does is help buy you time during a life-threatening situation. Anaphylaxis or a severe allergic reaction moves very quickly and very fast. So what the, this medication does is kind of help stop that in its tracks, but it's by no uh, means an antidote or a cure. You still need to be evaluated by a medical professional make sure you're okay and that the reaction isn't progressing in a worse direction. Um, overall, I, I know you said that obviously this is a breakthrough, but, but I guess the overarching theme here for the allergy community, uh, people like yourself who specialize in this, when you hear that this is months away from hitting the market, uh, just how big a deal is this? Uh, it's, it's a huge deal. You know, there hasn't been any other alternative to this life-saving medication in decades. Uh, so this is, is huge, especially for our really young patients, our children. We are seeing increase in allergies, you know, in babies and young kids. And this is, is much less scary, right, than being stuck with a needle. Uh, even for adult patients. And the way that we see it is it can be much like Narcan, which is used for opiate overdose, that if it is readily available in schools, airplanes, public areas, anybody can use it if they see somebody in distress and save a life. And you bring up a good point there about babies. We did make mention, I think, of this yesterday when we first broke, reported this story. 60, so you got to be at least 66 pounds. So for, for babies, Correct. for the really little ones, it's still kind of a, this the same measures you take now you have to continue with. But this is for anybody that's above 66 pounds and, and whatnot, right? Correct? Correct. 66 okay. pounds and up, absolutely. Yes. All right. Dr. Tur Purry Parikh, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Our allergist with the Allergy and Asthma Network. Dr. Parikh, thank you very much. We appreciate you being here with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay.